So let's learn the first thing that is new file and saving it. So just hit the file button and go to new and that's how you make a new file. But before making a new file, we need to learn how to save our file. So let's give it a name first. So the name is going to be called let's blink. So once we give the name and we save it now, there's an option, there's a prompt which gives you continue with Google. So I'm going to continue with Google so that it gives me the access to my projects anywhere across the whole world and it will be saved on the cloud so just enter your details and you can hit your password in after typing your email address you don't need to have a mblock account to log in using google but if you have an mblock account you could use a previous option now there would be another way where you don't want to use the internet so it would be saving on your local i'll be showing it up soon so just stay tuned so now i have logged in into my google account you will be able to see my profile picture down there my project and you can even sign out now go to file and say save to your computer that is the way you can save it to your computer so i just saved it in my favorite place as of now i just hit the button save and it will show you the directory where it is saved and there you go we are all ready and we need to check our device that the arduino is connected so let's see that the event the head block that we need the head block is something that we will need to start any program in visual pro you know programming so arduino uno starts up so without arduino starting up we cannot do anything so let's check the other blocks so I'm going to say set digital pin 13 output as high. High means on and low means off. So before that we need to connect Arduino. So let's connect the Arduino using the USB cable. And there you go. Just the other end to the computer. Once we are done with this, we need to select our COM port. So we can see the orange LED which is blinking as of now. Yeah, that's the inbuilt LED. So the inbuilt LED is connected to pin number 13. So now we need to upload and live. There are two buttons down there. So the Arduino starts up. The blocks are still frozen. And the only thing is because I'm trying to, you know, show you the possible things you could be doing. But we have not connected the device. So how to connect the device? Just scroll down and there's a button down there called connect. Since you have already connected the Arduino, you're going to find the COM port. So check, say, show all connected devices. We have only one device, just say connect. So there you go. Now we are all ready. And now our blocks are not going to be frozen. Now there are two modes called upload and live. So there you go. It says forever. I'm going to put my pin on and I'm going to put it off for another second so it's going to be on for one and no that is off for the other second so I just say update and I hit the button update firmware again so before we update the firmware just let's check our code and once you're happy saving it and we check everything else in a program so I think we are ready to update if you want to make any other changes you can also drop the other pins okay i mean the other blocks you can change the, the pin to some other pin as well so now all we have to do is just upload the program so you will see this block saying upload progress and it's going to take some time the larger the program the more time it will take as far as experience speaks okay so now that's it and we are all ready and now we are ready to see the output so let's check our Arduino and you will see that a LED is blinking right down there. So for the extended activity we are going to need a LED and Arduino and the USB cable. So let's look at all the things that we need to have and finally we are going to take the LED. Let's have a look at the LED first. So the LED has two terminals and one leg is positive and the shorter leg is negative so the longer one will go to the pin number 30 and the negative will go to the ground but before that let's connect uh, arduino to the laptop so once we are done connecting the cable we are almost set to let's blink 
okay so we are here and we now need to look at the pins carefully so have a good look at the pins where it says 13 and ground the input light is going to be blinking so now let's connect the longer leg into pin number 13 and the shorter into the ground so you are going to observe that the inbuilt led and the led that we have connected will blink together so you can still see that it is still blinking there it also depicts that our program runs forever since we had coded it forever so i'm going to reconnect it and let's have a good look now let's replace the led with a buzzer so now we are going to need a breadboard and a buzzer the buzzer similarly has two terminals and the positive sign which says that the terminal under it is positive so i'm going to place the buzzer on the breadboard next let's connect two wires across the terminals there you go so let's connect the negative terminal to the ground of the arduino and the positive to pin number 13 so these are digital outputs that an arduino would give and that's it thanks for watching